We're continuing in grade 7 math, we're at 8.1a, and we're going to talk about dimensions, area, and scale drawings. And a scale drawing is a proportional, two-dimensional drawing of an object. And a house could be drawn on paper using one inch to represent three feet. A map could be drawn using one inch to represent one mile. Even a small wind-up toy could be drawn using one inch to represent a fourth of an inch. So the parts appear larger and are easier to see. And scale drawings can represent objects that are larger or smaller than the actual object. And we can solve scale drawing problems by using proportional reasoning. So look at this. We have a little wind-up toy. And this drawing, if the scale is 5 inches to 1 inch, that means if you see 5 inches in size here, in reality, it's only one inch. So maybe the toy is really only this big, see, with a little wind-up thing. And so when the engineer drew it, he drew it in a blown-up, expanded version so you could see all the small little parts, see? And you know the proportion and the sizes of the parts because he's got a scale there, see? A scale is a ratio between two sets of measurements, and it compares the scale drawing of an object to its actual size. So here we have a garage, and it's a two-car garage. Here we've got one overhead door and another overhead door, so you could park two full cars in here. It says it's 18 inches going this way in length and 10 inches in width. And we know a garage isn't really 18 inches by 10 inches. You wouldn't even be able to fit a toy car hardly in that, would you? We've got a door here, we've got a window here, and in this drawing, one inch equals one foot. And the area of the rectangle is found by multiplying the length times the width, the length times the width. So we would do 18 times 10. 18 inches times 10 inches is 180 inches squared. So that means 18 feet by 10 feet would be 180 feet squared, see? Because it's inches to feet, all right? Remember when you see the L and W next to each other, that means you're multiplying length times width, okay? So scales are written as ratios separated by a colon. That's what these little two dots are. And it could be written as a one with the colon and the four, and that means one to four, that's the ratio. Or it could be one centimeter to one meter, see? So these two little dots are a colon. If you see a dot with a comma, that's a semicolon, all right? So a colon is just the two dots. So here we've got this scale drawing. It says this rectangle is eight inches this way and six inches this way, and the scale is two inches to 10 inches. So what's the area of this rectangle if every two inches represents 10 inches? Well, we're going to divide to find the scale. We're going to write the 2 inches over the 10 inches, and this, as a fraction, can be simplified, can't it? We can reduce this. We divide both of them by 2, and we get 1 inch over 5 inches. So the scale is 1 to 5. And what we do is we take that 1 fifth, that 1 to 5, and we multiply it, the numerator and denominator, by this 8 inches, and we get 8 inches over 40 inches. And we take the 1 fifth and we multiply the numerator and denominator by that 6 for the 6 inches and we get 6 over 30. That means the 8 inch side represents 40 inches and the 6 inch side represents 30 inches. See? Now what we have to do is multiply the length times the width. We multiply the 30 inches by the 40 inches to get the area of the actual size. 30 times 40 is 1200 and that would be inches squared or square inches. So if it was 8 inches across and 6 inches going wide like this, it's actually representing 40 inches by 30 inches. So there would be 1,200 little square inches like this. And maybe if they didn't have that much room to draw, they would use a scale to shrink it down so that it would fit into the drawing. See? So that's using dimensions, area, and scale drawings and... There's other videos in this chapter, 8, that talks about dimension and scale. And there'll be links in this video's description that you can just click on them, all right? If you're in the playlist, you can just watch the next video, all right?
I hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye.